Emilia McGovero has watched and spoken with many of those who came from their homes throughout North Texas today to come to this place. She joins us live now with more. Amelia. Yeah, Steve, you were inside the church and I was outside seeing all the hundreds of people who came in and out of this church this afternoon and into this evening, all to pay their respects for the late EBJ. And I will tell you that we saw everybody from former ju uh, former police chiefs, judges, friends, colleagues, sorority sisters, and then, of course, the president of the United States. And really to paint you a picture, I mean, not only did we get a sense of love and respect out here outside the church, but also a sense of celebration for a woman that was truly loved in this DFW community. Now, I do want to note that we saw everything unfold when the president came out in his motorcade here to Concord Church. He actually came a little bit uh, before 8 p.m. and pulled up to the back of the church to get inside the ceremony. And we saw a lot of police president, uh, presence and Secret Service out here patrolling and regulating traffic all day. And of course, like Steve said, we spoke to so many people walking into this prayer service today, some that both knew her as a friend and even worked with her. Because she cannot be replaced. I mean, she gave her all. She worked 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 hours a day uh, for the community, for North Texas, really for the nation. And so it's, it's just an immeasurable loss. She's a, a legendary figure, an icon, total loss. She was due the honor that she received, and everyone that spoke about her, they spoke wonderful things. You know, they honored her, which is what this service was about, to honor her. And overall, all day, it's been pretty calm here outside the church, but I do want to make a note that there was a man who was arrested right in front of us for picketing. Uh, he had an anti-war sign that he was carrying on the church's property, and so police officers tell me he was arrested on a misdemeanor charge for disrupting a funeral and memorial service. And I also want to say that people we spoke to really did tell me they appreciated President Joe Biden making an appearance here tonight. They said even though he didn't make a speech, his presence was enough. Doug and Nicole, or yeah, Doug and Nicole. Yeah, exactly. We got a lot of names floating around. Yeah. <laughs> Amelia, we thank you. Great.